there's a some kind of figurine down here. Came up out of the water and sunk. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Many years ago, there were houses that stood on this lot. The records, I believe, went back into the 1880s. The houses are long gone, although I got permission to excavate behind where they once stood. We'll see how it goes. The water table is very high. Looks like what this was is some sort of modern trash pit. drops another foot or so. Although I think the writing's on the wall. We'll see if we can find another spot. Oh, we got an absolute confirmation. The date code on this is 1950. This doesn't continue much further. It's a bust. Walked further back in the woods and noticed another spot where the ground settled. There's also a rock foundation over here. Not sure what this was part of, although indicates some decent age. We sunk a test hole. Still very high water here. Found part of a jar. It's newer. I'd say post-1950. We also got a scoop of lime, which indicates it could be an old outhouse pit. We'll continue and see how it goes. Well, this spot's giving, giving us mixed signals. We got beer from 1936, uh, really early, a possible chamber pot or spittoon. That's probably late 1800s. This also has a lot better age. Screw top. Medicine bottle from the 30s, I suppose. Vicious. But we got a couple pieces on the way out here. This one, I think, is a ketchup bottle. Yeah. 1930s, I suppose. And then, got something else here. Looks to be intact. Got a couple pieces actually. Uh, we have a plastic <laughs> top. That might be a bit newer than that. Uh, it does look like a medicine bottle, kind of. This amber one. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's a. It's not terrible. Like a bleach though. bottle, possibly some kind of chemical bottle. Yeah, Hylex bleach. from 1936. So, I don't know if this pit drops a bit in age. It could be into something earlier. We'll see how it goes. Uh, some more lime. Definitely an outhouse pit. More torture with the torture too. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Depression era, then, right? 1930s. That's Got all kinds of stuff down here. Bucket here. I have to dig a well. So it'll. What we got here? Half pint. Huh, it's a metal top, not plastic, at least. 
something in the wall over there too, bro. Uh, give me a medicine of some sort. Got a carry bottle. Soda bottle. Would have had a paper label. Could have been Seven Up. Something along those lines. Some broken window panes down there. You can hear them grinding. floating in the water here, it's definitely an outhouse. I probed it down and it's at least another four feet. So, could be some potential. We pull up this broken Art Deco soda bottle from Jamestown, North Dakota. That's kind of cool. Probably from the 30s, I suppose. The Depression era. This is a muddy mess. The age isn't great, but this one floated up out of the water, covered in undigested seeds. Uh, plastic top, 1930s, 40s. We did get some stuff with better age over here. It's part of a lantern or a lamp, and there's a uh, cork top, pop carry bottle machine made 1920s and here we got amber piece on the way out that's a big amber piece that's a wine bottle or something part of a brick that might be a beer let's see here yes yeah, a bunch of broken stuff Beer, 1933. Hey, we dropped three years. There we go. Yeah, there's some of those broken windows I was talking about. More of this broken beer bottle. Yeah. Post prohibition. Machine made. This big one here, that could be kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Half pint liquor flask, checker pattern. Metal top. Got it. Yeah, a good few pieces down here. Uh. Eggs. Rubber ball. Part of an iron stone top. Like, uh, is that a 1930 date code? And it continues. 
trying to dig sort of a well down in the center here where the water can drain so we can kind of see what we're doing. But uh, got a few pieces on the way out already. Just kind of loosening them up out of the mud. Liquor flask. Probably late 1930s. You can see the North Dakota seal on it right there. Special battery oil. <laughs> That's interesting. Thomas Edison Incorporated. That must be the later model. Primary That's battery division. Comfield, New Jersey, USA. Thomas Edison bottle. Cool. Something kind of a generic type bottle, a whole bunch of different stuff. Broken window. Soda bottle, maybe a ginger ale or something. I saw something cool. There's a some kind of figurine down here. Came up out of the water and sunk. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Huh, these are usually made in Germany. But awesome, this isn't even broken. Huh. Almost always they threw these things away because they broke, but yeah, it's got a little bird on there. Mushroom. <laughs> gonna try to finish this out here. Got it cleaned down some more. Another Better. part of that chain yeah. pot. <laughs> Trying to wonder if it's multiple. Liquor flask. Federal law prohibits sale or reuse. Post prohibition. Got on this thing. 19 or 28? 1938. Cold cream container. YF Chemical Company. Pop oh, ginger ale or something. Could have been mixing drinks with it. Mm, that was probably dug in the 20s. Little liquor bottle. Half pint, federal law. Forbid sale, reuse. This is 
getting earlier, probably circa 1920, 25, right in there. Uh, I probed it down, it drops another few feet. A nurser bottle, machine made, indicates they had infants here sometime around 1920, 25. Mason jar fragments, those are better than everything else we pulled out of the pit. As far as mason jars go, cold crank container. Still metal top. top. The water table is not letting up. We should just pull out this Chaz H. Flester's Castoria bottle, though, circa 1920, 25. Got a fragment from what could be a Cheyenne Bottling Works soda bottle from Valley City, North Dakota. I was pulling up a ton of fragments of this thing. This is something. It's a big old soda bottle of some sort. Broken. Um, we also got this. Would have been a crown top soda bottle from the Jamestown Bottling Works, I believe. Let's see, a Jamestown Indac. Hmm. Uh, where was it? What do we got here? Pinex. So something interesting happened. Well, I found a clay cap layer, which isn't unusual when a pit finished up, they would cap it off to neutralize the smell or fill the void, whatever else. But when I find one down this far, uh, I can indicate that either the property changed hands or possibly there was a disease outbreak. Well, we're nearing the era of the Spanish flu. And once I got through the clay cap layer, I pulled up this pre-prohibition whiskey bottle, which kind of concludes that. Uh, the pit keeps going, so we'll keep digging. Further confirmation of this being a, well, now being a pre-Spanish flu pit. Let's pull up another piece here, the Chattanooga Medicine Company. The woman's tonic. So there's definitely a female living here. We found that Lydia Pinkham's, which is also a uh, female medicine. So here's the hall. Everything dated back from about 1910 to 1940. It's a bleach bottle, food jar, that Thomas Edison bottle, a couple cold cream containers, salt and pepper shaker, those Castorias and patent medicines, Pinex, Lydia Pinkham's, some jars pre-prohibition whiskey court, generic possible chemical or oil bottle, some beers, ketchup bottles, this is the oldest bottle here, found circa 1910, a couple medicines, maybe extracts, post-prohibition whiskeys, some pharmacy bottles, more whiskeys, some metal pieces including a scissor, an inkwell, soda bottle fragments and whole pieces. The earliest piece found was definitely this chamber pot or spittoon. This looks 1880s or 90s. Some ironstone pieces. So there you have it. We've got our work cut out for us. 